Hello and welcome back to Gin and Talk. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the Gimlet. Yes. Yes. Another classic gin cocktail conversation here. Yes, it is. So a Gimlet is a classic cocktail that has gin, lime and sugar. And the history of the Gimlet is very, very deep rooted in the history of how gin has traveled across the world. Yes, right? definitely. Yeah. So what do you know about how gin has traveled around the world, Jesse? Oh, what do I know? <laughs> uh, I mean, I know definitely, you know, the, the, the big spreader of gin around the world was definitely the, the Royal British Navy yep. um, because they famously got gin rations. Um, and so, it, you know, in this time in the world, right, in the 19th century, this went for really any nation or empire yep. that was trading around the world. You, you brought your goods, right? Yes. And you went and you traded with, with all these different ports in different cities. And so one of the things that the, the Brits would bring, of course, was gin, barrels of gin. Yes. Yeah. So while they were traveling on sea, they would have contracted this thing, this very, very bad thing called scurvy, okay, to a vitamin C deficiency. Yeah. And yep. how did people find a cure for that, Jesse? Um, well, definitely a common way to fight scurvy would be to drink lime juice. Ah, um, so basically, and, and this, you know, we talked about this a little bit with the, with the gin and tonic, mm. is it's, it was a cocktail that was born out of the necessity to yeah. ingest this lime juice to fight scurvy. Yeah. Um, but we all, uh, we all, or they all had gin rations. I guess we have gin rations we have too, gin right? Rations, yeah. yeah. I don't have scurvy. Unlimited gin rations. <laughs> uh, you don't have scurvy? No that's scurvy, good. That's good. unlimited gin. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Yes. Um, so basically, you would, uh, you know, take your gin ration, yeah. mix it with the lime juice. If you were, if you were balling enough to have some sugar as well, you might put that in and mix it in, and, and that was the gimlet. Yeah. And and so basically, the way this cocktail continues to live on today is these officers, they got a palate for it. They started to enjoy having gimlets. They were. They were no longer needing to fight scurvy so much. Yes. They were just drinking gimlets, and you know when they came back, uh, back to London, or even if they found themselves based in different cities around the world, they would ask for a gimlet. Yep. Um, and again, going in this time of history, right now, lime juice wasn't always super abundant in in your pub in yes. whatever town you're yeah. in in the UK. Um, so this is where the gimlet started using cordial instead of fresh citrus. Ah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I think like roses, roses, lime roses, cordial, lime cordial. Is, yeah. is a very uh, still an existing ingredient that you'll yeah. find in many places. Um, there are other parts of the world, and I think a little bit later, that started you know reinventing these classic cocktails, yes. yeah. and probably taking it back to its true origins using fresh lime juice. Yep. Um, I would say today, really, it's kind of regional. Depends is, where you yeah. are. Like I know, like, like in the U.S. and North America, at least when I was bartending there, it was, if you ordered a gimlet, it would be fresh lime juice. Yep. In most of Western Europe, and, and I think uh, a lot of places that have that influence mm -hmm. over here in Asia, it tends to be more of a cordial. cordial yeah. So I, it's, it's again, it's not right or wrong. It's just how people like to drink it and how, how people like to make it, really. Yeah. So now let's talk about the name Gimlet. Mm. Yeah. So there's a few legends about this. The yes. first one that I will tell you about is from this guy. Okay, okay, who acted as a doctor. He's a guy. He's acted a guy. as a doc doctor or he, he was a doctor? He wasn't a doctor, okay. but he acted as a doctor for all the sailors with scurvy. Ah. So his last, his name is Sir something something Gimlet. <laughs> Gimlet, okay. And basically, he gave them lime juice and he's like, hmm, let's put some gin in it. Okay. So that's the history of the name Gimlet. Okay. It was named after him. Okay. Uh, do you have another story about where the Gimlet name came from? I, I got another story. I, I, I tend to think this this is probably is the more truth? accurate yeah, one, the accurate um, one. <laughs> but uh, a gimlet is actually a tool. Ah. Um, it's like a small, sharp object yeah. that would be used to um, either uh, make entry points uh, into yeah. like wood without fracturing the wood. Yeah. Sometimes used to like open barrels. Yeah. Um, because they say you know the gimlet has like a like a sharp, sharp. punch to it. Yeah. So I think that I like that story I better. I like that story better. If you will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there you go. The history of the gimlet. Yes. We hope you enjoy it and. We will talk about more classics in the future mm -hmm. episodes. So please like and subscribe. Like and and subscribe, yeah. we'll see you next week. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Efficiency. <laughs> Are we still recording? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. <clears throat>